Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys today? You guys, I am so excited to be back today because today we're back with yet another NCT reaction. You guys, look at this right now. I'm actually really excited about today. Now look, I just, and I mean just, got done watching Beatbox and truthfully, I am kind of obsessed with it. Now look, I am very well aware that this is repackaged from their last album. However, I don't know. I just, there is something about that song, the MV, the choreo, everything that went into it that I love so much. It's ridiculous. And truthfully, like, again, I'm, I'm aware it's a repackage, but I don't know, I just, I feel like it's going to be, like, my favorite MV, like, my favorite comeback from them, and I just, I love it so much. It's such a good and addictive song, and I just, I cannot wait to hear the rest of this album, because I've heard the other songs that they've included on the repackage are just as good and incredibly beautiful, and I've even been told that one of them is slightly sad, so be prepared in case I might cry, which, uh, I really don't want to cry, but, I mean, if it comes to that, it'll come to that, I guess. Look, I don't know, look, I just, all I know is I am so proud of them. I am so proud of them, and I just, I can't wait to hear the rest of this. So, we are gonna do this. But once again, because this is a repackage, there really isn't much for us to listen to. Only three songs, actually. Um, the first one being To My First, followed by Sorry Heart, which is a vocal line song. This is a song in which I've been known to keep my eye out for because apparently it is, it's, it's very sad. Um, the last song is gonna be On The Way. Uh, again, I know nothing about any of these songs, so we're just, we're gonna go for it and, and see what happens. Now, before before we get started, before we do anything though, I do want to take a brief moment just to make sure that we're set up that we're recording because, well, that is important. Um, excuse me. We are. This is good. Let's go ahead and pull this video up for everyone to see and check the volume. Now, obviously, I do want to point something out because we can see it. I, I am using lyric videos and I will be using lyric videos for all three of these songs. As most people know, if you've watched a album reaction review from me, you know that I do use lyric videos because I do want to know what's happening to the best of my ability. Now, granted, yes, lyric videos are not always accurate. Sometimes they will mistranslate something or they will assign one part to the wrong person. I am very familiar with their voices. I do know what their voices sound like. However, again, I just, I want to make sure that I know the gist of what is happening. Now, if you see something that is wrong and you, you can point it out to me, please do, because obviously in this moment, I'm not going to know, but this is just the best thing for me to get like kind of an overall view. So yeah, I, I'm just, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to go ahead and get into our first song and, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. Just <laughs> Renjun's voice, there's something very like almost like vulnerable about it and Hyejun has such a gorgeous tone. It's ridiculous. They sound amazing. <laughs> Oh, 
Lisa. <laughs> Ooh, that echo. Oh, So I, I looked over at my screen and I noticed that I wasn't in focus. I wasn't in focus at all and apparently I wasn't in focus at all during that song. So I, I am sorry. I don't know why the camera did that. Hopefully I remain in focus. So um yeah. Now look, in terms of that song, I don't know what I was thinking or what I was uh, like wondering what we were going to get because whatever I was thinking we were getting was wrong because that honestly was... It was very heartbreaking. Like, it it gave me almost ballad material without being as, like, kind of slow as a ballad. But I, I feel like I just witnessed the saddest and most heartbreaking breakup of my life. And it, honestly, it was a beautiful song. It was a beautiful song. They sound amazing. But it was incredibly heartbreaking. Like, I literally felt like I just witnessed, like, something that had to come to an end because it just, it wasn't the right time or place. And that is so sad, especially because a lot of people can relate to that. Where, like, we love each other, but it just, it's just, it's not going to work out and we have to part ways. And that's what I felt like I was, like, experiencing in my head as I was listening to that song. And holy shit. Seriously, I, I I know I said it once, but I am so proud of them because they just get better and better. They never disappoint with their music. And just hearing that growth from them makes me so immensely proud because holy shit. That song was absolutely beautiful. And honestly, it's definitely going on my playlist because I will go from something super hype like, hype like glitch mode or hot sauce and then I'll go to that and I will be perfectly fine with it because... Oh, the vocals. The vocals, like, I I feel like this is, like, an example of why I get mad when, like, people talk about, like, how, like, Dream doesn't have vocals or how NCT doesn't have vocals. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, and that is an example. I just need people to understand that, that these this group is just, it's compiled of amazing vocalists, and it's, I just, it's insane. It's insane to me, and I can't, like, oh, I can't. Okay, we're, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to our next song, which is Sorry Heart, which is supposed to be our sad song. We, we, we just had a sad song, so I don't know how it can get sadder than this, but we're, we're, we're gonna figure it out, because these, these are our vocalists, so let's, let's see what happens. Let's go. Guitar starting out is really pretty. His voice is so beautiful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fine. <laughs> 
lain so good going along with this guitar it's beautiful holy shit wow wow if this doesn't show another like another aspect of their vocal capability i don't know what will i don't know what will <laughs> literally the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Granted, yes, I know it's a sad song. I know it's a sad song about heartbreak and you you can you can see that through the lyrics but that that soft melody of the guitar and them with it it it, it, it gives it a different feel to it because yeah again it's it's heartbreaking but I also feel like that soft sweetness is kinda like almost this thing that you need when you're going through a heartbreak. Kind of like that soft spot that a lot of people feel and have. And it just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And their, their, their voices are literally like leaving me speechless. And it's crazy because I, I have been an uncitizen for I don't even know how long now. And I feel like every time I really get to hear their vocals or just anything about from them it just it takes me back because I become immensely proud and just that was absolutely gorgeous are you kidding me like I just excuse me I would really love to 
either see like maybe like a behind the scenes type recording of that or see them kind of just all sitting around someone playing the guitar and them singing the song because it's it's amazing and I really really hope at some point we get a live version of that because it wow holy shit wow I definitely feel like we're going through a bit of a heartbreak right now it's 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 a lot but at the same time like I love these songs Oh my god, these are amazing. Okay, we're we're now going on to our last song, which is on the way, and I what what is Mark doing? But he's over here for you guys. What is Mark doing? What is he looking at me like that? Oh no, they're so cute, I can't. Okay, we're just gonna do this and see what happens. Let's go, let's do it. Ooh. A little bit of a throwback, a little bit nostalgic in there. Ooh. I like that the, the 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 main like beat that we're getting that has it that the kind of like nostalgic feel that we have isn't super prominent right now. It feels like there's almost like a layer kind of like keeping it back, but then you hear Mark come in and his voice is very prominent. I like kind of like the difference there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I like that. I feel like my mom would love this song. I'm 
<laughs> okay look i really like that i will tell you this that i think this is going to be my least favorite out of the three that we've listened to